talking about keeping resolutions, making resolutions. How about this? We're going to just try to help you reach your goals and be the best version of yourself. How's that sound? And the human responsible for helping us do that is best-selling self-help author Jen Sincero. She's sold millions of self-help books and is a mainstay on the New York Times bestselling list. Jen Sincero is the woman behind the You Are a Badass book series and a success coach who has helped countless people transform their lives. Jen helped me open doors and windows into myself that I didn't even know existed. Why is she so good at what she does? She can relate. She too had to pick herself up from dead-end jobs, going nowhere relationships, and even moving on from a punk band. One day I said, enough. I knew I had to start making some changes. She began meditating, attending seminars, and hired a personal coach. All things that helped change her life. Now Jen is the celebrated voice in self-development. It's not rocket science. There are all these people out there living exactly the kind of life you want to be living. So when are you going to do something about it? It's time to stop doubting your greatness and start living large and in charge. Well, she has sold millions of self-help books and is on a mainstay on the New York Times best-selling list. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jen Sincero, thank you so much for joining us this morning. That was the best intro ever. I'm your hype woman. I will follow you around the country. I will just be your hype woman. So first of all, I, going from punk rock band to picking yourself up, um, this, this led to better habits. So how do we figure out which habits are bad, which habits are good, and how we can adopt good ones? I think you start by looking at the parts of your life that are just, that you're unhappy with. Or I think complaining is a great mm -hmm. compass. Like, what do you complain about the most? You might want to start there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and, I sh and I should say that this, we're, we're talking specifically about habits because this comes just in time for the release of the, the title of your new book is Badass Habits. Um, and right. this is something that we want to do so that we can stop complaining, so that we can, as you say, rewrite stories that aren't working for us. That is, in print, man, that looks good. But how do we do it in person? <laughs> okay, so first you got to become aware of what your complaining stuff is about. Pick one habit at a time. So let's say that you're going to get into the habit of running every morning. Then you got to get aware of um, what your habits are around that habit. Do you talk about how lazy you are? Do you talk about how much you stink at keeping habits? Do you talk about how hard it is to run all the time? So you're gonna to wanna to look at your language and your beliefs around the habit first and start making new choices. That is the first step, is just really supporting yourself with all of the right. other habits you have going on to sort of point you in the direction of that habit. And I love that your dog co-signs with exactly what you're saying, because your dog just walked in and was like, yes, mommy, yes. We should be trained. <laughs> I, I, I do, say, you know, something I do with my sister, she'll sometimes just call me and I've said to her, I, I know you're gonna start complaining. So, and she'll say, just let me complain for two minutes and then you can read me the riot act. And, and I have to say that that works because if you can delineate between your complaint and what you're gonna do about it, sometimes that, that helps like, I'm not, I'm going to stop complaining about the fact that I'm overweight and I'm just going to start running. So thank you for, exactly. thank you for helping us in, in, in uh -huh. acknowledging that. So that leads me to surrounding yourself with people mm -hmm. that, you know, help you achieve this, this sort of thing, you know, trying to surround yourself with people that hold you accountable, which is very different, I think, than accosting someone. When you hold one, some, when you hold someone accountable, I yeah. think is what you're saying. It helps people realize who they are and change that silly narrative. Right. So if you started just screaming and yelling at your sister right out of the <laughs> gate, like you can't complain and, and got on her back about it. Instead, you're supporting her by giving her what she needs. But then you're like, all right, knock it off. Let's move forward. That's helpful. You know, we all know we have bad behavior. We all know we complain too much. We all we know that. So it's not helpful to reinforce that we are losers or whatever for doing that behavior. It's like, let's be gentle with ourselves, but let's also hold ourselves up to a different standard. And, you know, the people surrounding you so influence what you do, right? Like we're so, I'm so easily swayed so much of the time that 
you know, you got to, if you're around other people who are really supporting you and who are showing you what's possible and who think big and do really brave things all the time, it ups your game. It's like playing tennis with someone who's better than you are. Speaking of tennis, you say to go to the spiritual gym. Mm. How does one get this membership? <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like going to the physical gym where you go and you work out your muscles and you get into shape. <laughs> and then you don't get to stop going to the gym because you're in shape now. You have to continuously keep fit, right? So same with mindset. So if you want to keep thinking big, if you want to stay focused, if you want to keep doing scary things that are outside your comfort zone, you've got to be going to the spiritual gym, which is reading self-help books, uh, watching videos of people who inspire you, um, you know, having an accountability partner, mm -hmm. surrounding yourself with other people that you talk to about big things, making a vision board, mm -hmm. saying affirmations. I find music to be the greatest thing to just sort of flip my attitude and make me feel large and in charge. I, I am I am totally with you. And to add to that, which something you ascribe to is do something that scares the bejesus out of you at least once. At least once a day. <laughs> if you're really gonna be a badass, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I didn't want to hear that. It's early, but yeah, once a day. If uh, so, this is the big secret, as far as I'm concerned. If 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 you're not scared, you're doing something wrong when it comes to changing your life. So every time you get a big idea to do something that's like equal parts terrifying and exciting, that is exactly what you need to go do because you got to where you are by doing what you're doing now. So. That's easy, that's familiar, that's not so scary. So we want the stuff that pushes us outside our normal behavior if we wanna change our lives and you will know you are on the right track if you're terrified. Preach, sister. Or if you just don't want to. Yeah, I'm gonna worship at the altar of Jen Sincero. That will be my spiritual gym. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Of course, you can pick up Jen's latest book, Out Now, Badass Habits. I like this thing. I like her. I like it.